I read the comments of one of those videos one time and people were just like, when these kids get to uh, our age, their skin is going to be so beautiful. I will say this 1 billion times, 2024, our motor should be shut your damn mouth. If anybody films me in the gym, I'm taking you to court. When someone says that they have an insecurity, doesn't necessarily mean that that's also your insecurity. Let them dwell in their own insecurity, okay? <laughs> so hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you have seen by today's title we're going to talk about things that social media have made us think is normal but it's actually not normal if you're new on this channel i have three parts already of this particular topic and they're going to be linked in the description box below getting straight into it the first thing on my list is oversharing <sighs> where do i start to talk about oversharing with all that we went through in 2023 in 2024 the motto the Thing for every single human being shut your damn mouth 2023 i don't know what happened it was just crazy i think it started in 2022 and then just kind of went out of hand in 2023 you find a lot of people talking about things that it's not for the third person to hear the next person to hear then they come on social media and they just spill especially on that clock app tiktok app that's one app that has enabled a lot of craziness these days TikTok is like every single person's outlet to spill. People listen to you because it is entertainment to them and they are able to chit chat and kiki about it to their friends. You give them a topic to discuss. They don't care about you. Just because they're giving you millions of views on TikTok doesn't mean that people actually want to know like, you know, how you're doing in that situation. No, they don't actually care. People are bored. People sit and speak about their family businesses, their relationship, their self, like their hygiene, their health oh my god i watched a video recently about a girl talking about you know the stds that her man gave her you know how she's treating it da -da 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 -da. and the funny thing is that she tried to protect him she didn't want to spill any tea about him but then i think what people don't realize is you're protecting this person but you're not protecting yourself because you're the one telling us your business yeah you have the stds right the guy gave it to you but we don't know the guy so the guy is insignificant in this story like we don't care we can't blame him for it i mean we can imagine a guy but realistically we're looking at you as a person that has the std right now you know what i mean and people overshare in different forms i think the latest form of people over sharing on that tiktok app and also a little bit on youtube i see that floating here and there is story times why i understand there are certain things that could be story times kiki kiki shout but there are some information some stories or events that happen in your life that is just super tmi that we don't want to know people are forgotten privacy people just come here and talk about every single thing i think nowadays other people are even scared to have certain experiences because everything will be online someone can literally go on dates just to come back and tell us the experience of each and every one of those days men are even scared at this point <laughs> men are even scared at this point to go on dates because before you know it you are trending on tiktok because you refuse to pay the bill or let's say you did something crazy on that date just be rest assured pray to god that you don't wake up the next morning and you find yourself on the internet because it's most likely going to be the case people don't have privacy anymore we have enabled these people to be honest i will also take the blame because obviously i watch it as well a lot of them just keep doing it because they think we are enjoying it i mean we are enjoying it for entertainment but at the same time we're going to remember you as that girl on tiktok that had that situation you know what i mean so it's not necessarily a good look and it's later on in life that people will come back and start rebranding themselves i've seen that happen like a couple times where people have started off you know really crazy now they're trying to rebrand and reinvent themselves and like you know revive their image but honestly to me it's not even working because if i'm describing you to my friend if we're kicking we're going to kick off with yeah that girl that had chlamydia from that boy that mm, 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 mm. you get what i mean now the second thing that i want to talk about is trauma dumping on strangers <laughs> oh my god this is also in line to overshare but i want to talk about trauma dumping like separately because it's a trend on tiktok 
how is that even a trend like you just literally go to a drive through and then just start pouring like all your trauma on somebody not even caring in the slightest what that person's mental state might be at the time where you're trauma dumping on them you don't know who you're trauma dumping to but it's a thing to trauma dump and then you lead people to different mental states unprovoked it's bad enough we are fed content that obviously is trauma dumping on us to now step out of social media because i'm talking about people who physically go and trauma dump on strangers record themselves doing that and post it on social media so we get to see it right if i'm that person who probably opens my app and then i see that you know this is a trend and then i step away from and i go to work thinking that i have escaped this and someone just comes in and then they start to do it to me physically i'll freeze i might be having a terrible day and you just made it two times worse human beings are so inconsiderate these days that it baffles me what's going to happen in like the next few years how is that even a thing trauma and some really delicate and triggering words nowadays are very much abused people don't really know the meaning the essence people can't differentiate between that and certain behaviors everyone is just doing anything that suits them I, sometimes i say people are bored but when i see things like this i'm just like people are wicked because it's not boredom anymore you're not even protecting yourself you don't know who you're speaking to it could be someone who could be mentally fragile or it could be somebody who can use that trauma against you you might be walking yourself into danger or walking directly into danger or you might be putting somebody else in danger no one is considering that these days they just spill talk speak about dangerous events dangerous experiences things that are very damaging to themselves and other people for fun honestly i'm lost for words at this point i'm not really sure where all of this is going to i just hope this year 2024 things will be different 2023 was a mess like we had a lot of things that just shouldn't have been there sometimes we jokingly speak about certain things but these things like cases like abuse trauma dealing with narcissists as partners certain things narcissist as a word mm, god that's even something i forgot to include in this list because that's also abused everyone uses the word loosely these days like do you even know the meaning of being a narcissist narcissist you know what we're going to keep this for another time but it's just so sad to see how much people are getting bruised and hurt life is already hard enough for a lot of people out there why do you think it's okay to make their life even worse okay let's move to the next point if not we're going to dwell on things a little too long and this video might be too long now the next thing i want to talk about is insecurities <sighs> People coming up with new insecurities every day, dwelling on it and actually passing on those new insecurities to other people on the internet. That is definitely not normal. I'm going to state a couple of things that I've seen floating around the internet these days that I just feel like is completely ridiculous. People have stated how hip deeps are insecurities, brown eyes are insecurities, face shapes are insecurities. Does that even make any sense? I feel like people just sit down, look at themselves. I want to say bottom, but honestly, I can't even start putting everything on bottom these days because it's just getting out of hand. But a lot of people just sit down or look at themselves, think about certain things, probably maybe how they should look, and then start to fill in the holes or fill in the gaps, which I don't even know where they've seen the gaps at this point, but they see it in their bodies and then come on these apps and tell you that it's a problem for your face to be round. So what should you do about it? Tell me, get surgery. Isn't that what they're suggesting? And then you wonder why children nowadays are running and getting themselves under the knife, doing a lot of ridiculous stuff to look a certain way. Your face is perfectly fine the way it is. Your hip dips, I have hip dips, like really pronounced one. I love them, okay? I mean, I do love them so much. Like it doesn't take away from the fact that I'm a sexy fine babe, okay? <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me i am a fine babe my body is good okay i don't care what you say about hip dips there is nothing wrong with your hip dips there is nothing wrong with your eyes the brown eyes are very very funny to me because when how where a lot of people are just running around fixing things looking for things to fix trying to fix a problem where there is no problem i'm not against plastic surgery i mean if i do need to get plastic surgery at some point i most definitely would but i'm against children getting plastic surgery because what i believe in is you haven't fully formed into your body as you grow certain parts and certain aspects of your body form they mature they grow you 
don't know what your mature body would look like but you are starting at this current age to start fixing things not knowing what your body would look like in a few years how about you just wait it out and see what your body looks like and if you still at that point when you're grown want to fix things by all means do so i'm not against plastic surgery at all you can do whatever you want to your body insecurities nowadays i feel like people just manufacture i wake up one morning and something is automatically a problem for human beings beauty standards changes every day and i keep telling people the fastest way to your downfall is if you follow trends and when you listen to people you listen to people you look at people you compare yourself that is the fastest way to your downfall people are very indecisive today they like one thing tomorrow they don't like it and you have rushed and you fix the problem that they said is a problem today tomorrow they are going to say it's no longer a problem what would you do at that time go ahead and fix it or remove it there was a time where big lips were not flattering there was a time where big hips were not flattering oh my god i remember the thick times where someone who wears size m was considered fat nowadays people are taking different things to add weight different things to be thick in fact skinny is a problem like um you're fine the way you are you are beautiful the way you are when it comes to insecurity there are other aspects of it that isn't necessarily physical it could also be how you talk it could also be your thinking it could also be your mentality it could also be your mindset it's a difference between when someone is trying to elevate your mindset to you know achieve greater things or grow mentally and there's also the aspect of people trying to diminish your thought to drag you back in fact to make you the dumbest person ever I have listened to people talk on these apps on how a certain way of life or a certain thought process or a certain mentality is regarded shallow well i don't think it is how about you maintain your own way of thinking and your own mindset if it works for you bravo this is working for me and that's the same mentality i want you guys to have when it comes to different aspects when people speak you don't listen to people to take pretty much everything that they say you always have to remember that people are also human beings speaking from their own knowledge experiences and background might not necessarily work for you might not also be right the way i'm speaking to you right now i might not 100 percent be right i also stand to be corrected i do stand to be corrected like i'm human i don't know it all i'm also you know here to learn as well so yeah if you can teach me teach me the fact that i'm telling you something doesn't mean that is right it also doesn't mean that that's the only way to life or the standard way to life you could use whatever i'm telling you and create your own way i say that all the time on this channel so when people are speaking to you on the internet you need to listen yeah but not listen to take everything assimilate or implement in your life all the time when someone says that they have an insecurity doesn't necessarily mean that that's also your insecurity let them dwell in their own insecurity okay the next thing i want to talk about that i think a lot of people have normalized and they're kicking to nowadays and i'm just like are you all okay kids on these apps you know using skincare products i've seen a nine-year-old using retinol and i am in shock because even me almost 30 i have a problem <laughs> using these skincare products on my skin and then i'm seeing nine year olds 11 year olds 12 year olds like having a full skincare routine i read the comments of one of those videos one time and people were just like when these kids get to uh, our age their skin is going to be so beautiful their skin they are gonna know more i was like no that's if they would even have a skin when they get to our age <laughs> ah! <laughs> they might not even have a face because they would have burned it all using all these chemicals for adults with actual skin issues people need to supervise their kids and i feel like parenting is one aspect that we really need to talk about in 2024 intensively i honestly haven't spoken about parenting because who am i to speak about it i don't have kids okay i don't even know when i'm gonna have kids i don't think it's my place to talk about kids and that's the reason why i haven't spoken about it because if i speak about it now someone's going to ask me how would you know don't tell me how to raise my kid no you know how they can be right but then i'm just saying this one that is visible to all of us i honestly she beside i i can't keep my mouth short why is a nine-year-old with full-on skincare routine on a table with a tripod and camera showing us how to do their skin or telling us a story i personally personally 
would never be in support of my kids at that age doing such should i leave it there or should i go further let me say one more thing before we step out of this point because when we talk about kids parenting motherhood all of that they like to come for someone's truth because obviously when you have not in that like when you're not in that community when you don't have kids you are banned from speaking about these things but think about it this way if a nine-year-old is using hydroquinone retinol all these acids like lactic acid hyaluronic acid niacinamide all of that at nine what would they be doing at 15. even makeup i have a problem with it's okay for kids to play on makeup it's okay for kids to dabble in it few blush lip gloss here and there but why should they be using foundation at that age like i said i'm not a parent but i do know that there are certain things that i would definitely not accept in my household as a mother moving on next thing i want to talk about is the normalization <laughs> people normalizing filming other people in public and it's not just filming other people right people normalizing bringing out a whole setup in public to film themselves and in addition people around them and even sometimes it's okay you know what it, it's 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 two ways they film themselves while there are other people captured behind them which is very wrong and then there are also people that actually just randomly film other people in, in public and they post it and they think it's okay i know this is something that have actually taken a whole different direction in 2023 and nobody's talking about how painfully horrible it is people don't have privacy anymore i spoke about this when i was talking about the trauma dumping because people are scared for their lives on this street me i'm always you know watching my back i think the only reason why a little bit i am saved from this is because i live in a country where this is not really really as much i can't imagine you know just walking out and then having a really normal day sometimes i might not even be in the mood because most times when i step out of this house i'm not really in the mood to speak to anybody right and then someone just comes with a camera and lights and everything on my face i will smack that shit out of your hand because honestly how dare you do you have my permission to do such and a lot of people are just like oh my god it's from my channel oh my god you don't have to be harsh about it you don't have to be rude about it yes i do have the right to be rude about it because get your camera light tripod out of my damn face i've seen a lot of conversations about this that oh my god it's just one camera oh my god it's just a picture it's just a this it's just a that i don't care and then also in public places as well like restaurants or like gyms oh my god the gym one there's a whole community conversation about this on tiktok i know that it was going on sometime last year where people were talking about like people filming in the gym which honestly if anybody films me in the gym i'm taking you to court <laughs> because when i'm in the gym i'm in a whole different mood i'm in a whole different mind space i don't want to be filmed first of all i don't go to the gym to look cute what why would i just open the tiktok app or instagram app and see myself running and jogging like a pig behind somebody <laughs> like what in the hell like cut the cameras i will be so pissed i'm honestly with the gyms and public places that sometimes say no filming or like no um cameras and stuff i understand although some people take a piss like for instance i know some restaurants do this and while i understand that obviously the privacy of people and this is why i'm talking about this and it's essential because there are people that just don't want to be filmed right that's fine but some people take it far i'm talking specifically people that go with the intention to film there get a tripod a whole ring light check tiktok but i also have some videos pop up where you guys can see what i'm telling you and then people capture people behind them sometimes where they capture the people behind them maybe they are doing something funny or the exercises are not really cute in the videos then you see people bashing them in the comments and then it goes viral and then the person person that it was captured mistakenly in the background comes up and they're like this is me in the background this is not normally how i run on the treadmill i just look like a frog that day like it's just crazy it's just it's a whole mess i just want people to stop it is not okay i will never be okay with it it is absolutely disrespectful to capture people without their permission in public i will never ever 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 stand with invading someone's privacy in such a manner and still stand on it and be proud the last thing we're going to talk about in this video because i feel like the video is already getting so long and i'm already getting too angry parents using kids for content on social media i feel like this is a conversation that 
has been ongoing for years and i'm so glad that there are certain people that have been called out for their bullshit some of them have actually been arrested for also abusing their kids but notice that an ongoing conversation has been going on like i said i am not one to chime in on parenting good parenting bad parenting how to raise kids i'm not but one thing i do know for a fact is that it is not okay it is not normal to exploit your kids it is not okay to force your kids to be on camera use them as money-making machines restrict them from leaving their childhood i see a lot of content that i feel like people haven't yet clocked on these apps where parents literally have their kids on a roll like every single day you know making money working at this point they don't even have the space to be kids to leave as kids there are people that are using their kids for aesthetics these days family aesthetics the family view of things i feel so bad for these kids sometimes because i feel like they're living in a whole different era i remember myself as a six-year-old a 10-year-old a 12-year-old a teenager i remember myself growing up and i was truly a kid and i lived like a kid i dressed like a kid i acted like a kid i didn't have my first phone until i was old enough to have a first phone i didn't put on makeup until god knows how long i didn't do a lot of things i didn't get to experience or see a lot of things until a certain age and that kind of shielded me in a good way i got to experience being naive growing up from that point till this point where i feel like my brain is literally shooting fire i know exactly who i am what i want my purpose and everything and it all came from a gradual process i don't think kids are allowed to have that gradual process these days kids are pretty much just thrown into the lion's den and they're like grow up or get out grow up or leave kids are no longer like going through that different phase of like you know being kids playing around jumping around not knowing they are left from right not understanding life kids have pretty much jumped into being mothers these days there are kids that are actual mothers mothers are giving birth and there are also kids that are also being mothers to their siblings these days and i feel like it's just so sad to see i know there's another aspect of this particular topic that i'll talk about but i'll actually talk about that in another video it is not okay and will never be okay for kids that are actually living adult lives kids should be left alone to be kids a lot of them if you ask them truly do not want to be on camera a lot of them do not want to be shooting content dressing up for the camera every single day because their parents say so i've seen kids like i'm telling you babies that they wake up at 5 a.m 4 a.m 3 a.m because their parents want to have like a timeline where they create videos or vlogs in a day that flows straight up and when i watch those videos i'm like that's torture all these phones skincare clothes shows activities events that we bring kids in on that we take kids to i will never be okay with it and that's pretty much everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below also follow me on my social media platforms especially the clock app the tiktok app <laughs> uh, it's linked in the description box below hope to see you guys there thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye